Hi students, I wanted to review with you the four basic financial statements that you'll find in a proprietorship. So our first statement that we prepare is the income statement. Next is the owner's equity statement, then the balance sheet, and lastly the statement of cash flows. So let's first look at the income statement. The income statement shows us the revenues and expenses for the company. The revenues are amounts earned from providing services to our customers or products that we'll look at later on. And expenses are the costs incurred in earning those revenues. And on our income statement, we take those revenues minus expenses to calculate net income. And so that is the main formula for that financial statement. Now that net income that we calculate then is used on the next financial statement that we prepare. The next one is the owner's equity statement. And we can see here on the owner's equity statement that the net income from the prior statement is plugged in into the middle. Now this one is showing how much equity the owner has in the company. So it starts with the beginning capital. Now this example is a brand new company, so the beginning capital is zero. We then add in that net income and also any direct investment by the owner. Those are both things that increase the owner's equity. We then subtract any payments to the owners in the form of drawings, we call it, and that tells us what our new owner's capital is at the end of the month. So our formula for this financial statement is you take the beginning capital plus any investment plus net income. We would subtract if there was a net loss because that would mean they lost equity in the company. And we also subtract any drawings, which is amounts paid out to the owners. And that gets us that ending capital. And so in this case, the ending capital is 14325 That would actually be the starting point for the next month's financial statement for April. That same 14000 is also what we carry forward into our next financial statement, which is the balance sheet. Now our balance sheet shows us our owner's capital down here at the bottom, balanced against our assets. Our assets are our resources for our company. And those resources um, are balanced against our amounts of the other, which are our liabilities, and the owner's equity. So our formula for this financial statement is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And we can see here that our balance sheet balances because that equal sign is true. And we always have our balance sheet balance. We never break that rule. Our last statement is the statement of cash flows. Now this one's a little bit different because it focuses just on the cash transactions during the period of time. This one has three sections. Our cash from operations, which is cash received and paid from running the business. Our cash from investing activities, which relates to cash paid or received for some of those assets. And then cash from financing activities, such as investment by the owners or amounts paid out, such as drawings. And so what we do is we take the cash from those three activities and add or subtract, depending on if there's more cash coming in or out, to get the net increase or decrease in cash flows during the period. And when we take that net cash increase and add it to our beginning cash, which again was zero because it was a brand new company, we get our cash at the end of the period. And that 11,000, is what matches our balance sheet, which shows a point in time statement of how much cash we had on March 31. So now let's review those financial statement linkages that we use to link these four statements together. So again, we start with the income statement where we calculate net income. That net income is what gets pulled into our owner's equity statement to link those together. Then we take our owner's equity statement, we calculate our ending owner's capital, and that is the amount that gets pulled into the balance sheet, which is our point in time statement. And then lastly, our balance sheet shows our cash, and our statement of cash flows shows all the ins and outs of the cash. And so we can see that my cash on my balance sheet matches my ending cash on my statement of cash flows. So together, 
These four financial statements give an overall picture of how the company is doing. Okay, I hope that helps you as you study the chapter this week.